Meadow, and I'm here today on behalf of facepaintingtips.com with my friend Basia, all the way from far, far away land. She came to let me paint her face today, and we made this wonderful little design for St. Patrick's mm -hmm. Day. So we hope you enjoy the tutorial. Can you say bye? Bye. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get started by putting on some shimmery white paint right in the middle of my friend Vasya's face and we're just going to stipple this on by lightly tapping and we're just loading this on right here in the center. You're doing a really good job of holding still just like that and then the next thing we're going to use is a shimmery gold. I'm putting them on top of her eyelid and I'm also putting them under her eye very gently so I've got plenty of paint under there, so I'm just going to take the clean side of my sponge and blend it under. You're doing so good, Basia. And just try and make it as even as possible. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. Good job, sweetie. And then I'm going to load a three-quarter inch square brush using my Prisma Rainbow Cake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rainbow design framing her eye area for our St. Patrick's Day design. First, I'm going to start out by having her close her eyes really gently. And I'm going to make a big rainbow right up here, like so. Making sort of an arch right in the center of her face. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go out from that using the other shades of the rainbow, the blue and purple that we didn't get in there. So I'm loading my brush by just going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to connect it here. Come all the way around to here. Whoa! Yeah! And then go down and under. Like so. Oh. You like that? <laughs> We're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to balance on her nose. <laughs> She's a very cute nose. And go around. And then do the same thing under. Really simple. Now I'm going to make a shamrock under the red and orange and yellow part of her face painting. I'm going to do that by double loading a number five brown brush with white paint and then I'm going to put green paint at the tip of the brush. Ooh. So the reason I'm double loading is so that I can get extra shade on my shamrock really fast. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the top of the shamrock right here and you can make it as thick as you like. There's mm. the beginning of it. And it's kind of like just making heart shapes when you're making a shamrock. It's a pretty simple shape. You can try and make a four-leaf clover if you want, or you can make a three-leaf clover. Either is fine. I think they're both pretty lucky, personally. There we go with that. And then I'm going to make a little tail for our shamrock right at the bottom, like so. Okay, good job, Basia. Now we're going to bring in some white to highlight different elements of our design, and then we're going to do just a little bit of shading before our design is all complete. So right on top of my rainbow, I'm just going to move her hair out of the way a little bit with my paintbrush like that. And we're going to go like this, and we're going to make some teardrops that are coming down towards our shamrock, like so, very simply. And then I am going to do the same thing. I'm just reloading my number five round brush with some more white paint. I'm going to do the same thing coming out of the shamrock. So one, two, three, coming right out of the center. One, two, three. Great job, Vasya. And I'm going to have her just turn her head a little bit. There we go. We're going to make some coming out of the corners of her eyes. We'll make about four of them right there. And the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. Great job. And some right under her eyes. Do you want to close your eyes for a moment, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sweetheart. And I just have her close her eyes so that she doesn't get 
nervous when she sees a paintbrush getting so close to her pretty eyes. Here we go. And I'm going to go over the ones I did at the top just one more time so that they show up really, really well. Because sometimes when you're working with white paint, it can sort of fade into the red and the orange tones. So by going over it, it just really helps it show up a little bit better. All right, great. So she's doing fantastic right now. We've got all kinds of colors going on. So we want everything to pop as much as we possibly can. And I'm going to just use a really nice dark, dark green metallic paint by Diamond FX to sort of trace over her shamrock so it pops really, really well for the picture or the camera. And we're just going to add a little bit more color and then some glitter. So I'm going to trace this shamrock. It's so nice and still. You're doing so good. Now that thing is really showing up. And I'm going to use gold to go under the white ones, the white teardrops, because it's St. Patrick's Day and leprechauns and gold and all, all those fun things should be included in the design. So just turn your head this way for me. And I'm just going to go under these teardrops really gently. And the same on the other side. Here we go. And let's hold your legs super duper still for a minute. Good job. And we'll put some dots right underneath. And now I'm going to bring in some stars to finish everything up. And we'll just use the white for the stars around her rainbow. And we can also use the white to highlight that shamrock a little bit. And this is a number three round brush that I'm using to do this. So we're going to go like this and just touch that shamrock in a few little places to make light appear from it. And some little stars around the rainbow design. And finally, some dots. And then she's going to be all done after we get the glitter. Basia, do you like glitter? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I've got a lot of different colors of glitter today. I've got a green one that I'm going to put right on top of her shamrock. And if you really want your glitter to stick super extra good, you can do it while the paint is still wet. <laughs> and I have some gold glitter for the sides of her design. And we can put that on top of the stars too, because it'll they're still a little bit damp, so it'll hold on to those really well. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Vasya, can you smile at the camera for me? I'm going to show everybody your design. Oh, it's so pretty. Can you say happy St. Patrick's Day? It's a big word, isn't it? Yeah? <laughs> Just say bye. <laughs>